Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sanghvi from vlemon.com and welcome you all in my SQL Server 2014 tutorial series. In this video, I am going to show how to download a sample database and restore it in SQL Server 2014. So first, download sample database. You can visit codeplex.com and download AdventureWorks 2014 full database backup.zip file. For this video or this tutorial series, I am using AdventureWorks 2014 database and for my exercise which I give in the end of the video for your practice, you have to use this same database. So click on AdventureWorks 2014 full database backup.zip to download it. I already downloaded it for this video and it is available in my download folders. So where is my download folder? Here it is my download folder now right click this is a zip file so you have to extract right click and select extract all click on extract button my database is extracted successfully now this is my personal folder so you have to copy this folder in such folder or such place where everyone able to access it without any issue so I am going to copy this and I am pasting it in my C drive so here I already pasted the adventure work 2014 database for this video in this folder you find a dot b a key file adventure works or adventure works 2014 dot back this is the backup of adventure work database we are going to restore this in sql server 2014 so open sql server 2014 management studio how to open simple click on windows r and type ssms this is my favorite way and in my each and every video i am using this method to open sql server management studio click on ok to open sql server management studio for i am already connected on sql server management studio so this step is not mandatory for me now connect on database so you can connect on database engine by clicking on file connect to object explorer or connect database engine in this you have to provide your sql server name and if your sql server is installed in your local system you can use dot and for default instance name you have to leave it blank and if you have installed sql server 2014 with instance name then you have to provide the instance name for me i install sql server with default instance name so click on connect to connect so my database is connected successfully now i have to restore my database so click on database right click on database select restore database and my database backup is available in device hard disk so click on device and click on this ellipse button and now we have to add our backup file click on add button and search for your dot back file and it is available here so i am copying this path paste it here in backup file location enter and select your adventure works 2014 back file click on ok click on ok now click on ok to restore it my database is restoring 20% complete, 50% complete, and 100% complete. My database is restored successfully. Now, for my all videos, I am using this database or Adventure Work database for examples. And if you want, you can use the same. In every video, I am going to give some exercise for your practice for all the exercise for this video you have to use the same database now exercise for this video and here is the exercise 
uh, exercise for this video is you have to download the database uh, of course adventure work database and then you have to restore it and the final you have to create a backup of this database so i don't think so it is mandatory but for your practice you can create the database backup using task and backup why it is not mandatory because we already have backup available here okay no issue that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video